Okay, back to the building. We've got our gun deck glued and dry. It's been drying for about, I don't know, three, four hours. Put weight on top of it to hold it down. The back I took back so I could make sure that my planks were all lined up. But we're gonna move on to the next step. So the next step is number six. All right, and along with uh, this pictured instructions, they give you a companion instruction book, but it's very vague. And I'll tell you what it says. I'll get my magnifying glass out because they're... All right, so six is where we're up to. This is where we're, where we're at. We just finished five. We're moving to six. Glue and nail linings between decks number 31. Okay, so glue and nail linings between decks number 31 to inside of frames 8 and 12. Sand until you obtain a smooth and compact surface from frames 8 to 12. Sand upper part of lining 31 until leveling it to frames 9 and 12. So it'll be level to 9 to 12. All right, or 9 to 11. All right, adjust and glue deck waterways number 32. All right, let's see what we got. So 31, when I go back to the parts list in the back of the parts list, American, number 31. Okay, well, I believe I know that. So there's 31. We are at linings between decks, eight pieces total, the pine. So that's this right here. So I'll cut out, it says eight, so you must have put four for a side. I'll cut them roughly to length, and that's it. Now the, the waterway, gun deck waterway, two pieces, two mil by three, by 237 millimeters, and that's a piece of walnut that's still in the box. I gotta get that. But the waterway will get glued back to our plans here, make sure I'm still in the frame. Number six, which will be seven. Number 32, the waterway. So it gets glued to the inside. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut all these to size. We'll have to uh, put our teak oil on them, glue them, and I'm wondering if I should uh, taper the edges. A lot of times when I plank, like when I do the planking right here, I'll take the edges and I will cut them back to like a 45, not quite. But I will actually make it so it looks the piece of wood like this. And what I'll do is I will cut the sides off like this. And then I will, the other one, the next one that goes on top of it, will alternate. So it will flip and I'll have a piece like this. I'll turn it upside down so that when these two match, the gap as you sand, there won't be a as notable noticeable line going through it if this was a piece of board i would get out my uh like a longer piece of sheet i would get out one of my little strippers i got and i would put it at an angle and i'd cut that off i may take my uh sanding block and i might try to angle that down like this that way and i take the next piece like i said here and i'll flip it upside down and then butt them up together let me try to do that. It's pretty thin stuff. We'll see what happens. I'll lay them in there and see how much of a gap we got. Of course, you got a lot of play in here, too. All right, so the next step I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a few of these or cut eight of these. I'll leave a little overhang. Leave, run them a little bit long. And then uh, we'll start placing them down in there and see what we get. So let's see what happens after that. And then the next one on that side. Well, you probably didn't even get to see that, but I'll show that when I uh, get these pieces cut to length. So I'll start cutting these, and then we'll go from there.
All right, so I got them. They cut as you seen. I just roughed them in. These are about these things. These two are trimmed down pretty good. Let me grab the chip. All right, so <clears throat> excuse me. These liners will go right into here. All right. So what I am going to do with these? Exactly what I did with the. Uh, deck boards here. I'm going to put the graphite on them and glue them into place right there. Now they want you to uh, they want you to um, nail these on too. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to mark them. I'm going to put two nails in them. I put two nails in each one of them. What I was thinking about doing was getting all these cut on the back side, putting a little CA, not as a bonding, just to, just to hold that into place. Then taking them off in one section, all four pieces in one section, then sanding them. And the thing about that, I don't know if I can do that because this is kind of curved. And I have to go back to the box and get the nails too. I got my little, I'm gonna have to drill small little holes into each one of these and get my nail and my little hammer out. I got a nail pusher, but I don't think that's gonna work too well on these, but it might. So I've decided, yeah. So I'll get the other ones cut here and uh, or get them fitted and then figure out a way to get in there and get them sanded. I could sand them, I guess, on there. My concern is trying to get this nails in them. If I could take it off in one piece, I can sand it. Maybe I'll put a piece of tape or if I can hold it with tape or maybe just tack it. I can tack it, I guess, with some CA or something real quick as long as the CA doesn't bleed through onto this side. Tack them into place and take all four of them out. Then I'll be able to get a good sanding on them and then get the oil, I want the oil on it and uh, mark them and drill my holes for the nails. So let's do that. Let's get all these cut and all into position and then we'll, we'll see what happens with that. Okay, so I'll let this dry for about an hour, hour and a half. This stuff sets up pretty good. And I got some 80 grit. Bought these at Lowell's little soft disposable uh, sanders here. They work pretty good. 80 grit. So I'll sand these down. And uh, get them nice and flush. So they sit in, sit in, uh, in between the uh, bulkheads nice and flush. Then I will uh, mark them. Let me get this out of the way to show you here. So I'll lay them into place. I'll get my pencil and run my lines up. I'll get my little pin drill, pre-drill. Pre-drill the uh, nail holes. And... Uh, Nail them into place. Well, pre-drill, and what I'll do is I'll go get my teak oil. I'll show you that video about the teak oil. That's what uh, the lower the decks are made out of here, or stained with. I bought a bunch of different, uh, oh, four or five different stains and tried it. And I, a buddy of mine had told me about that he uses teak oil. 
and I've never used it before, and I tried it, and I really liked the way it looked out, so it came out. So that's what we're going to use teak oil on the, uh, all the plantings will be teak oil. So I'll give this a good sand and get it down. This is 80 grit just to hog it down a little bit. And then I'll get 220, probably some 300, three something, and then drop it down to uh, 600, just like I did the lower decks. And uh, I won't bore you with me standing here sanding these down. I wanted to show you that wax paper worked pretty good too. Did glue to the bottom. That's why I put the wax paper down so that when the glue uh, got on it, you've seen how I did to get these nice and smooth here. Get them hogged down. Then I gotta think about what I'm gonna do here about uh, the nailing of these. I mean, it's pretty confined space in there to try to obviously I'm going to mark them with the pencil before I stain them then I'll pre-drill my holes probably only going to be able to get one nail on each plank on these I might get two really should try to get two it's more more realistic with two or I'm going to go on the plans and look too and see if there's nails on the drawings here they were talking about the uh piece of walnut that has to go down on the deck here if they were talking about nailing these on probably both but we we'll figure out something so i'll get back to work hogging these down with this 80 grit get them flush this pine is a little bit and it's not all there's a lot of variance in the width of this stuff, that's for sure. But uh, it'll work out. Sand the edges down. If you remember, we have to uh, put it into place and then sand it. It, it meets flush with, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there's eight. So it's flush with eight. You got to sand it down to be flush with nine, ten, and eleven. And then it's flush with twelve back here. So it'll give a little concaved uh, deal right there. Then our stern deck goes on here. There's our can or the uh, I didn't don't have the uh, the deck that goes up in the bow here. Out should have grabbed it just to see to make sure it all fits. I want to see how far it goes up forward. And anyway, I hope you can see that. Move it over here. I want to see how far that's going to go up. Of course, there's a couple rails that go across here too, yet we have to put on. There's uh, some ply rails that go on the top here. I'll get those out and see uh, while I'm sanding this down and make sure that those top rails will sit flush on these bulkheads. In fact, I'll get those out here as soon as I turn this video off. And uh, so that's what we're going to do next. But. Uh, so that's what we're going to do next. I guess that's all i got to say about that. I'll start getting all the stuff out. Do some more time-lapse stuff. That time-lapse is pretty neat, too. Too bad it didn't go that fast in real life. I'd have this ship done by now, right? All right. Let me do this and get those other parts out. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.
Hey everybody, back to a little live action shipbuilding. I wanted to show you where I was at. It's about 6.30 on a Saturday now. I was outside, it was actually halfway decent outside today. So last time we had to put our side rails on and nail it in place, get our waterway in. I believe that's what they called it. So I've got one side done, I pre-drilled pre-drilled the holes if you can see them in there and punched my nails in with a little punch I'll show you how that works but just take I just took the drill got it just barely fit I had to take the top of it off right here but got it down inside of there and was able to pre-drill my holes this side I had glued it let me bring it back a little bit I glued it on and then what happened was when they want you to put uh, the two by three millimeter piece of walnut, nail and glue it to the inside. When I glued this uh, railing tight against the bulk heads, you could see, I don't know if you can see it with that, maybe I'll zoom in a little bit here, I'll show you. Right there, there's a gap. So what I had to do was I, cut the uh, glue off, got my razor saw, cut back the glue, and I'm going to move this out a bit, put a little piece of shim inside of here so that I cover up. Actually, you can almost see it, how it's not. With this being pushed all the way in, there's a big concaved area right there, where this one is a little bit more, the, the curve isn't as steep as this one. It actually it looked kind of funny when it was glued in. So I'm going to put actually a piece of the planking works just about perfect for what I need. So I'll put a little piece in each one of these. Maybe I'll do the front, but the front really isn't that bad right here. And then I'll just work this down, glue these into place, re-glue it, and uh, set it in. So that's what I'm going to do when I stop this video, I'm not going to be able to get much of this on, but I've put one coat of teak oil on the pine, and I got to look. You don't really see a lot of this because the next step after that, if you remember, you got your top railings that you have to sand flush. You have to sand flush between this bulkhead and this one, so this lays down right about here. You can see that's not fit neither. But this piece will once get glued in and they want you to temporarily nail it, they said, so you can adjust it. So I don't know what that means, but obviously you got to adjust it. And then uh, you leave one millimeter gap here. Presumably when I go to plank it, it'll fill that in. The other thing I noticed, and I'm going to have to figure out when I put my <clears throat> main deck on. Now the main deck, well this isn't the main deck part here, this goes up here in the bow. You see how it covers right here, okay? And it covers up right on this side and it's flush. This side is flush like the plan say it should be. But when you put the stern end together, okay, and it's going to go roughly right here, there's a gap, a little bit more gap, definitely when I sand this flush, but you need to have this piece sitting flush against this piece. So when they say sand this level, the problem is if you bring it down as far as you're supposed to, you're not going to sit flush unless you sand, which I've got to do a little more sanding on the top of the bulkheads in that. Look at how nice that uh, deck's starting to look. I swear, after time, even sitting here looking at it, it gets nicer and nicer. I've got my lines drawn in, you can see, to sim simulate the deck board lengths. And it's really, it, that, that cheek oil really look nice. Here's another thing I'm wondering. I'm probably going to put some planks up and down in here. Okay, a lot of times, that's why I never throw away a piece of this ship. 
If you cut a little piece off, you save it. Maybe we'll put a few going up and down inside of there like this. I don't think you're going to see much in there, but why not put some pieces in there? This one you don't see at all, but this one you might see. So maybe, maybe I'll throw some down. I'll look at the plans. I know you put a piece of walnut inside of here and wrap that in walnut. I believe pretty sure it's walnut. It's all this ship barely has in it is walnut. But you can see what the, see the gaps? There's a, the big gap here. You won't see it, but I know it's there. But you would see that one. But once you get the railings on, it sort of does sit back, but you, we know it's not supposed to have a gap in there. So I'm going to bring these out, make a measurement from the side, and try to get it square in there so when I, you know, it doesn't look like this side is so far over, it's a mess. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off the tape and then I am going to start to pre-drill my holes and fill in or put the nails in in the side rails like I did. Maybe when I get the nails, get the uh, drilled holes, I'll show you how this, this works. It's just basically, if you guys built one, all it is is a little spring-loaded, got a little magnet in there which doesn't help on brass nails, but, and then you just, you know, pre-drill it, you push, and it, it goes in pretty easy. And you gotta be careful on the edges right here because the nail goes through, so I'll have to sand all that down right there, grind it down, get those nail heads out of there. But um, let me go ahead and start pre-drilling my holes, get my nails put in, and then I will uh, level these up here get them glued on or tacked on or see whatever they were talking about, temporarily putting them in, and we will go from there. All right, I'll see you when I get all that done. Okay, I'm going to try, see if I can, get one of these, a couple of these uh, nails done on the sides here. You see I've got, I know it's going to be hard for you guys to see. I got my mag, I got to use my magnifying glasses and the whole nine yards. But you can see I've got three here, two, two. Here's the piece of the waterway, I believe, of uh, walnut. I haven't drilled the holes in it yet, if you can see it. But I'm going to show you how I make, do my holes, pre-drill them, and then get at least a couple nails, something to look at. So I just use a regular thumbtack. Okay, this is the end it's, that uh, I can get three on. Just kind of line it up, obviously, sort of like a pilot hole for the drill bit. Get it where I center the best I can. Because, you know, these were handmade then, it's handmade now. Give it a little indentation. And I'll work maybe one more down behind it, too. Checking to make sure I'm perpendicular, close enough. These guys probably weren't perfect anyway. So I got a... Real small bit on the end of there. I don't even know what it is. It's not quite the smallest one that came with the pin drill. Actually, it's not even... It's probably the second smallest. Obviously, run up where I just made that little indentation. Put your hole in. Hope you can see this. I always know when I'm watching videos, I always like to actually see something getting done. It's just someone just showing me a bunch of pictures. So I try to get down about... I don't know, two-thirds of the way, maybe, just before it comes out of the uh, back of the ball kit here. So I try to get down that quarter inch, give or take, so the nail can set. A couple of them I blew all the way through, but the bit, that blew all the way through, too. But the bit, small enough where it's still the nail still has some resistance. Of course, it's glued, too, so at this point, this is all just aesthetic anyway, just to look at. However, I did do this one up here, and I didn't glue that one down. I actually uh, just nailed it into place. But, okay, find my tweezers. Get one of my little nails. Obviously, in the hole it goes. Okay, now this one's, I'll do a couple more because this one's going to be pretty easy. Technically, I would get my nail pusher and then just give it a little push. And then it goes, simple as that. 
And we've already used our thumbtick to get our little starter hole in, so let's drill this one down too. You see what I had to do, make sure I'm kind of straight going into the bore. I'll show you what I had to do in a second here. Now I got the barely had enough room to get this pin vise in here. I've got the bit buried at the bottom, bottomed out into the vise itself. And I had to take the uh I had to take the top off it. I had to screw the top so I could get it in between. Let's see if that's deep enough now. Tweezers. Wearing these magnifying glasses. They're great, but uh, when you go to try to see anything that's just out of your range from the glasses, it's a rough bird. Alright, so let's get that nail in there. I don't think I drilled that deep enough. Problem is, we don't get it deep enough. It's a fine line. Now it's in there pretty good. All right, back to the little nail push. Kind of support the back a little. And in it goes. Just like that. So for the third one down here, same thing. A little pinhole. Making sure I'm reasonably straight. I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this one, but... We know it's there. It's right about there. Okay. Is there anything I'm saying about the distance in between here? It just barely got the, enough room. And then actually in the back, it's really tight. I should have put my protective uh, sheet back down. As soon as I get these done, I'm going to put my... Remember, I got a little cover to cover all these, or cover the gun back up so it doesn't get marred and scratched. But kind of a rough one to, to do it now. All right, so give it down two thirds of the way, roughly, give or take. Probably can't blow it out. What I was thinking about doing, if I go through on these, well, I'll take a little bit of uh, the CA and I'll put it on the backs of these nails once I sand them through. I don't know if it'll help keep them in place, maybe. I don't think they're coming out anyway. All right, another nail. Gotta make sure some of these are bent. Makes them a pain. They came with the kit. And see how far we went in for that one. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That's about what I was trying to shoot for. Get your little pusher. Kind of support the back, not to push it through your finger or thumb like I've done ten times. So let me tell you what, that's a thick nail. And it'll go right through your skin. And that ain't no joke. And a little... Okay, so now we got the nails done on both sides. This side is actually completed. You see the, I've sanded down the uh, waterway and it's nailed. Still yet, I've got to uh, sand this down so we can get our top railing on. Right here kind of aggravates me. Let me see if I can get back to any of you to show you. Right here, if you can see it. I know you don't see it, but nothing's going to be covered here. And when you put your planking on the back, it'll, of course, you won't see it either. But I'm probably going to put a piece in here. Both sides. You know, I always said, you know, just because you don't see it don't mean you don't know it's there. And the other thing, what I did too, let me get these glasses off. I'm wearing a pair of glasses like this. It's got the light on them. Let me move this camera back now so you can see a little bit better. Got a pair of glasses like these. There's nice, they come, I bought them. I don't know if I showed a video or posted that video I had of them or not. But they come with six different lenses. Get a uh, LED light. And a carrying case, I think I spent 25, 30 bucks maybe. So you get the carrying case. First, I, did I open it upside down? Yeah. And then you got your different uh, magnifications of glasses. There's five of them. A little case for those. And there's a strap that you can take these off. Some, oh, take them off here. Yeah, take them off here, I believe. I haven't done it yet. And there's a little uh, elastic strap you can use to go in around. They're great. I mean, they really work nice. What's nice about them is, is I wear glasses so I can actually 
keep my glasses on and use these, which is really nice. Oh, but what I wanted to show you before I, I'm not going to show you me standing. I cut, I cut the, is that it? Yeah, I cut the other side of the walnut down to size. And uh, basically what I'll do with that, same thing I did here, I'll sand it and get it smoothed down to 600. And what I'll do is I'll take my th thumbtack. Why can't I think of thumbtack? And I'll go right where the bulkheads meet it up at the side, and I'll put a little pinhole in it, and I'll pre-drill all the way through the walnut, push the walnut into place, and push the push the nails in. And off we go. Every time I touch over here, I feel something loose. What it is, it's this deck. See, that's why I was saying about why I put these braces in here because I don't like that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back and re-glue all these edges down anyway. Yeah, maybe put a little, maybe thick uh, CA and let it run down these seams right here. But we're almost there, so next video I'll take, I'll have the waterways done. Oh yeah, remember I was saying about how I wasn't able to cover it, so and I had to put a little piece of scrap on the inside of these bulkheads here so that we could cover our holes and we're good now. Okay, a little bit up here, but you're not gonna see it. I was more concerned about this center one in here so that uh, it covered up. Yeah, they covered up pretty good the whole way. Yeah, it's looking good. All right, so let me turn this video off. I had about time to clean up this little piece of plywood I got. Shortly, I'll be out in the shop. Every day it's getting nicer and nicer out there. Well, it's getting, the other day it was 75. And uh, today was about 58. But then I look in those extended forecasts and sure enough, snow. I think it's Wednesday or Thursday. High of 34 and snow. And so it's upstate New York. You don't know what it's doing from minute to minute. All right, so let me get back to work. I'll put my walnut piece in. Drill the holes all the way through it. Um sand the top down so we can get our other walkways in and uh, I'm going to read about those see what they were talking about go back into the steps a little farther into the instructions and find out why they want you to temporarily put them on for adjustment at a later point we'll find out what that's all about too all right so let me get back to work on the waterway and uh, we'll get back with you as soon as I get that done all right, we're going to call this quits for video two. I'm uh, ahead of the building, obviously, so I've got video three I'm trying to put together by editing it. I'll get better at it, um, so bear with me on that. But don't forget to like and subscribe it. I want to also say that, you know, the what I'm doing on my kit will apply to just about any kit. And I want people to know that these ships, they seem overwhelming, but you can do them. So uh, don't forget to like and subscribe it. And I will see you at video three. All right. We'll see you later.